I have the We Fit uh, game, DVD, whatever it's called, in there. We are going to give this thing a try. It's probably going to want to test me. Hopefully my balance board works after I put the uh, batteries in it. We will find out. I think that was a successful test. Um, <laughs> I tried the boxing thing um, briefly, but it didn't work. It, I don't think the nunchuck, the like the little second, you're supposed to put this on and hold it in your left hand while you hold the regular Wii remote in your right hand. And um, it didn't seem like it was registering any of my left hand punches and that would just frustrate me. So I said, okay, forget that. We're gonna stick with the jogging. So that's, you know, I tried the running, the jogging. That was nice. I can definitely do that. I can keep up with that, no problem. Um, I can, you know, that was only a three minute run, so I can do more. Um, but I'm gonna start slow because I haven't been jogging. I haven't done that with the Wii in years at this point. <laughs> so it'll definitely be good to, to build back up my reserve. So I will start slow with the short run. Maybe do it, I might try to do it more than once a day. We'll see. But I, I think that's good. It was a good experiment. I know that it works now. Um, and I do enjoy the, the jog, the little, you know, the scenery and stuff is fun to do that indoors, especially since I can't jog outside right now because it's too cold. So yeah, I'm glad that I, that I brought that back out. So I'm gonna try to, you know, stay in shape, get some cardio going. And I've been doing yoga, but I haven't been doing any cardio. And so I said, okay, th that we're gonna try, so. Anyway, that was a fun experiment. Now all I need is it to do is keep up the consistency. So that's on me. I'm all packed and everything for my trip. I carry on my suitcase, but it occurs to me, I always use my giant suitcase no matter how short the trip is because I like to bring my robe because I'm always cold. Um, but it's not full. Look how much room is left in here. So I'm actually gonna see if I can cram the stuff into my smaller suitcase and still have room for my robe. Let's find out. I did it. It actually does fit. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's a little bit <laughs> sticking up, but it, you know, it's, this is a robe, it's squishable. So I will be able to close this. I'm so excited. I don't have to bring my big giant suitcase. Wow. That's a win. Cause that's not going, that's going in the carry on my toiletries. That's going in the duffel over there. So this is this is it. Yay! I'm actually very excited by this. Almost forgot this little guy has to go in there too, but he can fit also, because he too, like the robe, is squishy. And it's a good thing he doesn't need to breathe. Poor little guy. But he'll fit. This little sign gave me an emotional roller coaster this morning because my first thought was. You know they only put that sign up there because people have actually like messed with the sprinkler and caused flooding. Then my second thought was why are they using a hanger in the in the graphic? Like there's a tiny hook area in there, but it's not really that big for a hanger. Like why would you hang like literally there's a closet right there. And then I thought, okay, we are in a bathroom they're probably steaming their clothes. But then I thought, but wait, there's a bar right there that is so much better to hang clothes on 
And you wouldn't really risk them getting them wet because you could always hang them over here. And then I thought, and, and the fact that I thought of the steaming clothes thing, does that make me one of these people? I don't think so. I mean, I really think, A, I just wouldn't, and B, it's just not a good place to hang something. But anyway, I, I don't know. It was a lot of, a lot happened in my brain when I saw this sign. And I need to stop because I, I need to get ready for the day, but I just, it, this is crazy to me. It's Friday morning and I'm about ready to leave. I'm just gonna have some breakfast first, but I realized I hadn't showed you my hotel room. So of course there's my bags. Maybe too much stuff for a two night stay, but you know, there's a robe in there and a weighted blanket. So, you know, it, anyway, um, I have a full kitchen. Look at that, it's full size fridge, stove top. Anyway, really nice hanging lights, really nicely decorated in here. I have a desk over here, of course a TV. And then separately, separate room, there's the bedroom with a TV I didn't use, but that's cool if you'd like to watch TV in bed. And then of course the bathroom as usual, which is a bathroom, nothing much to show there, but how cool is that? So yeah, full suite, this was very nice day. Um, hotel breakfast left a little bit to be desired, so I'm actually having leftover Chinese food. <laughs> for breakfast. So um, that's actually just finished in the microwave. So I'm about to have brekkie. But anyway, there's my hotel room. Soon I will be leaving here and heading back home. Time to pick a question. All right. Um, num, 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 num. This one. Whoop, I picked two. Let's put one back. Okay. If for one month you could live at any famous residence or house in the entire world, which one would you pick? I mean, I don't, I don't have any, it's not like there's any famous residences in the world where I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I don't care. Um, well, isn't there, well, it's not a residence, so I don't know if this counts, but isn't there some place at Disney where you can stay in Cinderella's castle? That's not a residence, so that probably doesn't fully answer the question. But honestly, it's the only thing that comes to mind. <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm not interested in the White House or anything like that, you know, as a famous residence. Buckingham Palace, yeah, don't care. Don't... Yeah, I can't think of anything. So I'm just going to go with Cinderella's Castle, even though it's not a residence. Um, I would love to stay at Cinderella's Castle. I think that would be so, like, cool. Plus, imagine, like, I would be at Disney for a month. Might I get tired of Disney in a full month? I don't know. Maybe. I... <laughs> Possibly, I don't know, right now, I don't feel like I would, but you know, a month is a long time, so who knows. Uh, but that's my answer, I guess, Cinderella's Castle, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, uh, you know, if there are any famous residences that come to mind for you that are like, that would be awesome to stay at, because I personally, uh, I can't think of one. <laughs> Hi, Sunday afternoon, I have just finished watching the church service and now I'm relaxing. I decided not to go to church. I, you know, I came home from my work travel Friday evening. Yesterday was a home day. I relaxed a lot. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel like going out today. Because originally I was supposed to go out today. I was supposed to go grocery shopping and stuff. And I just was like, I really, really don't feel like it. Like, I don't feel unwell. I don't feel like super tired. I just... The thought of getting in that car right now, I'm just like, I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping during the week. I'll have to grocery shop like tomorrow during my break from work or something, which is fine, you know. Um, yeah, that's that's just what we're gonna do. Um, in the meantime today, I'm just gonna be here relaxing some more. Um, I've had some quality time with Snidely while I was watching the church service. He was here and cuddling with me, which is perfect because I'm wearing my, this is my cat cuddling sweatshirt. <laughs> shirt and uh yeah so we were, we were cuddling with the cat and relaxing I have some planning to do so I've talked about I'm getting my kitchen redone um the cabinet people called while I was traveling so I didn't speak to them live but they left me a voicemail that they can deliver my cabinets on February 5th so that's very exciting today is January 28th and they should deliver the cabinets on the 5th. I did. I called them back to confirm, but I had to leave a message. So anyway, that's probably what's going to happen. Now, that is not the install date. 
that is the delivery date. So what has to happen is they'll deliver the cabinets. Then some other people will come to inspect the cabinets to make sure everything in like in the boxes, make sure they have everything they need and everything looks good. And then once they confirm that all is good, then the install happens. So it's still going to be a minute. I still have time. But basically before the install, I have to pack up my whole kitchen because <laughs> all of the cabinets are, are coming out. So literally everything, I have to take everything out of the kitchen, not the appliances. I think they do that for me. But anyway, um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I need to make a plan of like basically packing up my whole kitchen. So I've, I've written a little list. I said, okay, what I'm going to do. I'm going to, of course, start by packing the things I'm not actively using, right? So, you know, I'm sure everybody has stuff in your kitchen that you have because you sometimes need it, but you don't regularly use it. Those are the things I'm going to pack first. So I'm going to kind of go through all the cabinets, like, okay, what am I not going to need to use in the next few weeks? Things like mason jars, you know, and I can plan around that, right? Like if I went on meal planning, like if there was a meal that I would want a mason jar for, for example, like if I'm going to make bean salsa for fajitas or something like that. I would want to make some jar. I can just plan to not make those meals, <laughs> right? So pack away the mason jars, pack away certain appliances, just decide, right? I'm not going to use an air fryer between now and when everything's done, right? So I can pack up the air fryer, things like that. So stuff I'm not going to use, pack up first. While I'm in the process of doing that, I will be getting rid of things that I don't need. Mainly things like, like I'll go through all of my spices, um, you know, some spices you use regularly, like onion powder, garlic powder, salt, right? Those pepper, those I'll keep in the cabinet. Any spices that are very recipe specific, again, let's just not make those recipes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I can, I can pack those. And as I'm doing that, I will check the spices so that if any are expired, I'll just chuck them out. So, sorry, cat's about to knock the tripod. Pod. Tripod? Tripod, yes. Anyway, um, so yeah, anytime you move or anytime you do something like this, it's a good opportunity to downsize and to like get rid of things that you don't need. So I don't think I'll be getting rid of any appliances. I'm pretty sure I won't, but spices and things, um, anything expired, absolutely. Chuck that. So my plan is I'm gonna start boxing things and piling them actually in this room. This is, I'm in my den right now. Um, so the boxes of all the stuff are going to be packed here in the den. I am going to put the stuff that I will need to be actively using the whole time, such as dishes, utensils, those kind of things. Those will actually be packed in my office. And not packed, but they, they will be in my office, which is across from me. It's over there. Um, <laughs> uh, so those will go in the office. And when they deliver the cabinets, see, those will go in the living room. So it'll be right there because the living room is right next to the kitchen. So that's my plan. The other thing I have to do, apparently when they do your kitchen, there's going to be a lot of dust that's kicked up. So I need to make sure I have um, sheets and things to cover my living room furniture and everything. So that it's because it will get dusty in there. But anyway, that's my plan. So across the next few, probably couple weeks or so, depending on when install date is, I will be doing that little by little. You know, a little bit each day, maybe like 15 minutes a day, just a cabinet a day, something like that, right? Just to, to spread it out so that I'm not like trying to do it all at once. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm very excited though. You know, it's just, it's getting closer and closer. Like when I got that message while I was traveling, I was like, okay, February 5th, it's coming, it's coming. Cabinets will be here soon. Once I have my cabinet install date, then I have to call the appliance people for my appliance install date as well and I also need to find out because I'm very confused because the cabinets are going in first what happens to the old appliances you know what I mean like do the cabinet people like disconnect like I just I don't know I don't I'll have to talk to them <laughs> when I call them I'll have to find out about that hey sneaky anyway um so that's what I'll be doing across the next couple of weeks lots of work to be done but it's all very exciting other than that, I think I have a pretty normal work week. This is my first full work week in a couple of weeks. I haven't, I didn't work. I worked like one Friday in January. <laughs> um, and then the rest I had Fridays off for various reasons. But I think this coming week I'm actually working the, the full week, uh, which is fine. Things are ramping up at work, but they're not busy yet. And 
that's kind of it. So anyway, I'm, let me let me wrap things up then. So I guess I'll just finish this up in prayer. Um, all right. So Lord, I thank you very much for this week. Thank you for the work trip, that it went well, that I was healthy through the whole thing. You kept me safe for the flights, for the drive there and back to the airport and everything. Um, and thank you for the time I've had afterward to relax, kind of recover from all the travel. Thank you for the opportunity for such a great job that allows me such opportunities, that I have such wonderful coworkers, for all the blessings and benefits you've given me in my life. I pray for everyone watching this, that you would bless them and keep them, that whatever they're struggling with, you would help them with, that they would feel your presence and your love, Lord. And I pray your continued, I know you're always with us, so I pray just your continued presence throughout the coming week as well. Um, thank you that we can come to you with any concerns that may pop up between now and, and you know the next few days. And we know that you'll always hear us and that you'll always help us no matter what. So Lord, Thank you again. I look forward to seeing what you have in store for us. In Jesus' name, amen. And as always, I'll end it with number 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Bye.